There we go. Sweet. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, today, we're going to talk about our Bazaar agent and some of the stuff that we've been building around that. Um, and I'll just dive straight into it. So we, we've decided to like extend the docket and treaty um, feature set a little bit to really help with how you can discover apps as, you know, when you join a community, things like that. I kind of teased a little bit of it last week in the live stream. And so this week, I'm just going to focus entirely on that, uh, that feature set. So let me just start with um, jumping in here and showing you the sort of app grid, right? So pretty standard, like everyone is used to the sort of design. I mean, it's in landscape. Um, and so, you know, we needed to definitely at least reach feature parity um, as a baseline uh, to kind of have this be a usable, you know, full experience. So one of the cool things that we've done with the Bazaar uh, agent, you really don't see it much here. Um, there is some interesting things where you can pin the apps to your, to your uh, dock down here. So if I click pin for talk, you see talk is now you know, pinned down there. Uh, we can also pin these, which we're calling native apps. Um, this is sort of the built-in web browser um, and the built-in settings. Uh, so there's some apps that are just better to be integrated uh, natively into the experience. Uh, but you can also pin those as well, which is kind of cool. Um, and so, yeah, behind the scenes, all this ends up in, uh, in Hoon. It all ends up in your agent. And, you know, you kind of, it's, it's just the basics, really. Um, the cool stuff gets into some of the other things that we can do with this. So, you know, obviously we need to um, have basic installation experience. So if I go to like Nodman, uh, and download maybe radio, you know, I can hit install and we can just start installing radio. Uh, we can also click in and we get the sort of, you know, app install page that most people are used to. Um, we have the website here as well. Um, if we click on that, we'll just jump straight into the Git repo. There it is. Um, and so let me just get back here, uh, up here. Um, yeah, so here's radio, you know, I'll hit install. And then boom, you see that just happened really quickly down there. Um, so radio has been added to the app grid all as well. Um, so from here is some cool stuff that we could do. Um, I could pin this new app. You could recommend it. Uh, we have this app info modal, which just kind of pops up the, the sort of detail page outside of the, the you know, search window up here. Um, and, and yeah, so it's really basic from this perspective. But let's jump into... Uh, what we can do when we join uh, like an actual space, right? So this is like a group um, that I created, or actually I took this from the, the groups too. So um, actually, if we look here, let me just show you real quick. Um, all of these groups here actually are coming from group two. Um, and we recently added this feature set in, which essentially just pulls in, you know, all the metadata from there. Uh, so you could create a space from a group. Um, but if we come into the home grid here, you see it's very bare. So there's no recommended apps, nothing in the app suite. So let's just start filling this out. Um, I'll put talk up here. Let's put uh, like groups. And so when someone else joins this space, they're going to have these here ready to, ready to download, sort of tells them what they need to download and things like that. But some of the cool stuff you can do with this um, is not just this. But let me toggle back to the app real quick. Let me maybe favorite or recommend uh, radio. So boom, I've recommended radio. Um, doesn't look like much happened yet, but we'll, we'll see in a second. Let me actually also recommend Ingram. Um, and then we'll come over here. So now we have <clears throat> two recommended apps. And, you know, the idea behind this is that the people that join over time will rank and sort um, based on their recommendations. So if another guy came in and they liked Ngram or recommended Ngram, that would mean that Ngram is now at the top because two people have recommended you know, Ngram. Um, and you can imagine that as you have more diverse communities appear around urban, like some music-focused communities 
or some other ones that are, you know, more about art and painting or whatever. Um, each time you log into those spaces, you'll see, you know, a totally different recommendation list and discover apps just by like being invited to the, to the, you know, different groups. Um, I think that's going to be a cool dynamic. Um, so let me try this other thing and show you what it's like if you come into a space and you don't have an app installed. So I'm just going to remove radio. So there we go. It's gone. Um, and I'll come back here and you see, okay, we have radio uh, here, but I have to install it. So we have the little install icon there. Um, so I can just, you know, click install maybe. Or if you click on this, you get to see, you know, this app dialog pop up, which you can install from here. But let's install from this little button here. So we'll hit that, get a little spinner, boom, we're installed, right? So it's like, boom, like super easy. I'm going to say boom a lot. Uh, boom, super fast. Um, so it's really cool how easy it is to do this sort of stuff. Um, let me try something else. Let me come in here and we'll like unrecommend Ingram. Okay. And then I'm going to put Ingram here. And then I want to uninstall Ingram. Just like that. Boom. Now Ingram is gone, sadly. Um, so we also have it up here where if you have an app in the app uh, suite and it's not you know, ready, you don't have it installed, you, when you join, you have this little icon up here, which you can hover over, click it, and then it, it'll do the you know, installation process and all of that. Um, and I think Ingram takes a bit longer because it's got a big glob, a big a glob of glue. Uh, behind the scenes to do a lot of the sort of document editing stuff. But in a minute, this will be done and, you know, everything will be good. Um, and so what I'll do while that's rolling is I'm going to come over and actually, oh, there we go. Boom. Perfect. We'll open it up. Nice. So you saw like one thing here is when I open Ngram, it actually opens at a certain resolution, right? Or like a certain dimension. It's sort of like this centered, you know, smaller app dimension. Um, and there's actually a way that developers can define what that is. So let me actually switch over here um, and I'll like close that. I'll come over here to this config.realm file. Okay. So we actually have, uh, we've added a file that you can include in your app. Um, in this case for Ingram, um, if you include this file, it sort of sits alongside the desk.docket file. Um, so everyone's pretty familiar with this one. Uh, but the config.realm um, file is all about what do you, how does it open? Like, what are some settings that, you know, you can tweak that give you some control over the actual window in Realm? Um, and so you see here, there's like this six by six sort of uh, dimension um, for, uh, for Ingram. And if we were to scroll back over and see it, it sort of has this sort of, you know, six by six, which is, maybe I'll take a second to like talk through that. Um, we actually have this, you know, arbitrary scale from one to 10. Um, and that just is normalized to the user's, you know, screen resolution. So, you know, if they have a smaller screen resolution, there's some calculations done that will take, you know, the six by six and, you know, adjust it to the size of the screen. Um, and so that's how, you know, users, you know, would experience it. But also like if you're a developer, it's pretty easy to, you know, integrate with some of these advanced features with, with Realm. You just yeah, add a little file, your app opens at a certain size. Um, so like there are some other ones that don't have it set. Um, so I could show you radio and when I open radio, it just opens full screen by default. So right now the default is 10 by 10. Um, and yeah, every app opens at 10 by 10 unless it's defined otherwise. So if you want to like something like Minesweeper or the calculator app, which are supposed to open, you know, much smaller, they'd probably set a ratio of like three, three by four or something like that. Um, and the, the sort of three would be an X orientation. Um, and, and the second one, four would be the Y. So we can close that. Um, and yeah, so... I kind of want, want to also like dive into the bizarre back end a little bit. So um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit because it's kind of small. Uh, yeah, so if you guys can see the screen here, really it's pretty simple what is actually going on. And this is the cool thing about, you know, 
you don't really need to store like massive amounts of data for some of these things. So we actually pull some information from the docket, obviously for for you know the application, the images, and all of that. But really, when it comes to things like the cat, like the catalog, it's really just a map of an app to an app ID to an app. Um, and the idea here is that you know anytime you get an app recommended or an app is added to the suite, um, and you're in a certain space, your catalog gets an update from from the other users. Uh, that okay, there's an app that's new that's now added to the catalog that you've never installed. So we we keep track of install status in here, um, and you can see that here. Uh, and and really, what that does is it allows us to have these intermediary states, and then you could do this this sort of sharing of of apps, uh, and you get to the preview and things like that without installing it. So okay, we have some questions. Let me just try to see if there's one here. Okay, can you scale in smaller increments than uh, one to ten. Um, right now, for I think this first iteration, we're just doing, you know, one to one to ten um, to keep it simpler. But uh, really, it's it's probably an arbitrary difference. So I would expect it to be easy to to like, yeah, do increments of like point whatever. Um, and so so yeah, that's hopefully answering that question. And when you so getting back to this though. Um, yeah, so the catalog is all about you know sharing the apps that you don't have installed, um, and also kind of keeping track of the apps that you do have, have installed. Um, and we also have this idea of a grid index, which um, in this you know version or this build doesn't we don't actually have the drag and, drag and reorder set up, but you know we're just kind of setting up the future feature that we're going to add where you can rearrange these. Um, and let's switch over to this and see. Okay, yeah, the suite, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just really a, like an index. Um, and then stalls. So the concept with stalls is that every space will have a, a, a stall, which um, a stall is a suite and the recommendations uh, for apps. And, you know, this is just, you know, version one, but you could expect over time for us to add a lot more to what a stall is. Um, these are just the, the first two, like you know, pieces of the of the experience that we're building. Um, but yeah, you can imagine like I, we've sort of had discussions of imagine if you could do like you know a music or like a playlist or something, um, and whenever you enter into a space, whenever I jump into this one, um, instead of having recommended apps and app suite, I could have like my top song or like a song that has been voted on, you know, invalid. Or something as like the song of the of the group, right? So things like that are what we want to get to um, after we get through version one or the alpha. Um, and let's jump back over to code real quick. Um, yeah. So then we just have this concept of docs, um, and the docs they used to be uh, synced between you know people in spaces, but we we realize that that doesn't really work because the, the docs kind of like a personal context, and the way you can think about the spaces is, is, is that um, this task bar here is private entirely to you. So everything on it should be associated with you. So if I were to come here and like pin Ngram, um, this is really only pinned here for me. And, and so really the app suites where you define, you know, what apps you need to, to work with for the group. Um, and I think over time we'll have, you know, a lot more diversity of, of apps that could be used. So, this is sort of like this high level view of of the of, of the bazaar agent, and really that's i mean this that's pretty much it in terms of now um we're probably going to be adding a lot more features in terms of like you know maybe you know supporting screenshots um but we essentially have built this extension on top of docket and treaty so that we can you know push forward with new features that are more around discoverability and curation. Um, of, of apps. And yeah, so if anyone has any questions, feel free to, to jot it in. But this might be, you know, a fairly quick stream, um, just kind of hitting these points. I think maybe there's one cool thing that we could do real quick. Um, let me try to add, I'll add a fast nut here and see what, what he's up to. So. Fastnut, 
Famden. Okay, so fast at Famden. He's been invited. Let's see what happens when he joins. Hopefully he's recommended an app or two that will now, then appear in here. So let's see if he can jump in. Let's see. Okay, it looks like he's not floating around this 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 time, so. Yeah, I mean, really this is uh this is the bizarre agent. Um and the the expectation or the, the hope is that um we're going to extend the capabilities of the config.realm file. So right now, you know, you can do the sizing, you can do the title bar border, say like you know, whether or not, okay, there we go. You saw that. So I came, I just came back and Fastnut um, has joined. So it went from invited to now he's a member. There he is. Um, and you saw Ngram just appear there because he's recommended Ngram. Um, and then, so if I recommend Ngram as well, it's now sorted at the front because now two people have recommended it. You know, you get the picture. Um, and over time, as you invite new people, this is all all like shift around, which is kind of fun. Um, so cool, that's cool. But yeah, so just getting back to this, yeah, title bar border. Um, yeah, it's just a boolean, pretty much, yes or no. Um, and then show title bar. This one is more so in preparation for a future um, feature set where we want to enable developers to kind of like define their own title bar section. Um, so maybe they want a more integrated title bar. Um, and one example of this actually would be the Ngram, or sorry, the, the Relic browser. So if I open the Relic browser real quick, you'll see that, you know, this is a totally different top bar than the rest of it. So um, this is what the intention of that flag is. I would say right now it does, we don't have the support um, in the UI side to actually, you know, have the custom um, title bars usable, but that's sort of the intention of that. But we'll we'll be expanding much more uh, into this uh, like set of ideas around what you can unlock as a as a developer um, in terms of configuring app windows and stuff. So let's see. Okay, any plans to make the app installs feel more centralized? I uh, storing distro strip names to apps so it's easier to search. Um, in terms of like distro ship names, um, I'm trying to think of what exactly you mean by that. I mean, we have like, yeah, we have like, um, yeah, who, who's the developer, what, what ship it comes from. If you mean like curating a larger list that is sort of like recommended by Holium or recommended by, you know, someone else, um, I could see us doing that at some point. But right now we're just kind of focusing in on this sort of dynamic user-based, you know, recommendation. I think it sort of hits the ethos of, of you know, what Urbit's about. And also it's kind of interesting um, by having like the literal social graph define what apps are, are shown and recommended. It's kind of an interesting thing to explore a little bit more. But yeah, I think at some point like having a little button and maybe be like, yeah, what, are, what is sort of recommended, like, you know, top apps, curated by a specific, you know, group. Um, maybe that's Salon, maybe that's Hollyam or something like that. But for now, it's all more decentralized. But yeah, if there's no other questions, I think this will probably wrap it up. Just wanted to get out and show some, some of the features. And um, next week, I think we're going to dive into uh, the wallet a little bit. So that should be fun. Um, to like see the full scope of the wallet, which is, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be cool. Um, but yeah, thanks. Thanks for tuning in everyone. Um, hopefully, hopefully if you're building an app on Urbit, uh, and you want your app to open in, in realm, uh, we'll be posting the docs for the config.realm file and other things pretty soon here. All right. Adios. Wait, what did you see this question from radio chat? What do you mean? What do you mean? Do you mean? 
What do you mean? Let me actually jump into Radio and see before I log off, I guess. Open. You can figure okay. dot realm file on other things pretty soon here. Okay. Okay, I see the question. There is one question in there um, from Livdex. Uh, yeah, so the, okay, I was wondering if multiplayer thing will be for the entire space, meaning all curses can interact, um, or will multiplayer be limited to one app at a time? Um, so the way it's actually going to work is going to be getting into a later feature we're going to highlight, but I can kind of just show you that it's like, the rooms itself will be the thing that sort of imagine rooms as like a game lobby or a party on Xbox Live, right? So if you're in that party with other people, any app you open could potentially, you know, integrate with that and do some sort of collaborative thing um, or some sort of like, you know, real time editing or something like that. Uh, but that's the intention of that. But we'll get into that later. Okay. I think that was pretty much the last question. So yeah. That's the stream.